We just started the making process. Most of our work have been robotics camps in STEM. We're going to just kind of set up with different odd um, materials and let kids be creative. The maker mindset, valuing the process over the product. Kids often don't get the chance to do things with their hands, play, unless we make a special effort to allow them to build things freely. Because it's different from making things on the computer. It's a lot more tactile. It's very, very applicable. You learn how to work with other people. You learn from other people's mistakes. You learn from your own mistakes. I run a youth and family maker space. It's really important for kids to have a lot of uh, time doing hands-on activities and creative things and making. We all learn through different avenues. Being able to make things, explore, and take a step back and understand how something works. My dad really pushed me to try new things and tinker. I definitely always liked designing in a way that it's aesthetic and pretty. <laughs> my friends and I create a dress that whenever it spins or moves, these lights would flicker on the skirt. Making is one of the best ways to have an impact on the world. I want to change a life, and hopefully many lives. I want to be able to look at a person and say, I made their life better. I like to see that aha with the kids, giving them something new, and how they uh, can experience it. You don't have to have all the fun techie toys necessarily. The simple power of a, uh, a tongue depressor and a pipe cleaner and what you can do with that is just incredible to me. I can't wait to pull out miscellaneous objects and say, show me what you got. Let's just do an open end project. I'm really interested in seeing that creativity come out. Let's teach kids how to learn, not what to learn. I love the connection to students understanding when they learn and that light bulb that goes off. 